Yeah, I'm over this one. My patience, my time is gone. My doll, so Sugar A here coming at you guys today with a wig review. Obviously, <laughs> y'all see the cap. <laughs> um, so the wig review that we'll be um, doing today is going to be on a interesting wig. I've never tried this particular style before, so it's going to be new to me, new to y'all, because um, mm, it, it got me scared. But anyway, um, before I jump into the wig review, please make sure you guys are following me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm Aya All Day on both platforms. Of course, those social media links will be in the description box. Also, please make sure you guys are sharing this video. Sharing is caring. It's free to do so. Of course, I want you guys to watch the video in its entirety. That also helps my video become visible out in the universe of YouTube. Okay, so please make sure you guys watch the video in its entirety. Share it. Like, comment. Of course, you know when you comment, we keep it up in the comments of course when you comment i want you to say more than it's beautiful let me know what you actually think about the unit of you know let me know did i did i help you you know make your purchase decision let me know start talking to me more <laughs> okay so we got all of that information out the way let's go ahead and jump into the wig review so i'll be reviewing the Zori Diva Butterfly Lock Style Wig. She is going to be a knotless braided wig on a 4x5 free part um, lace front. Here is what she is looking like. I have her in the color FS1B30. Alright, so with this one, very, very interesting. I've always wanted to try this particular style, but wasn't, you know, I didn't want to commit to the style because y'all know me. I like to switch up my hair. I like to, you know, I can't keep a style in for too long. So when I saw this as an option, I was like... All right, we're going to try it out. So here is what she is looking like. Um, there is what your parting area is looking like. And, of course, she is, you know, like I said, it's a 4 by 5 so you're not going to have that much parting, um, you know, versatility with it. But it looks really, really good for it to be... Um, you know, on this front, so on this four by five area. So let's see here. She has a total of three combs, two combs here in the front, comb in the back, uh, adjustable straps. The cap is really, really stretchy. So if you have a big head, this one will definitely fit you. Um, let's try her on, okay? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Try her on. Um, first impression, I'm giving you sideshow Bob realness right now. She comes like um, the like the locks. They're not you know totally uniform, so it's giving me like a lock kind of style um, to it. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm giving y'all sideshow bob realness, though. You can't tell me I ain't. <laughs> All right. So, here is what she's looking like. Hold on. I think I'm pulling my hair. I'm trying to get this. Oh, there we go. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. All right. I'm... I'm, I hope I can get this one down for y'all, cause, uh. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing. Let me go ahead see what I can do with her. Um.
purchase this with my own money so this is not a sponsored review even if it was a sponsored review y'all know i don't hold my tongue for anything and i will definitely tell you if i don't like something um good bad and different ugly you know what i'm saying so y'all already know i'm gonna give it to you honestly in my opinion now in my opinion this unit is great for a look if you continuously wear it every day you probably maybe get four to six wears out of it before your lock starts to really become really really distressed looking um, and your unit is not going to be as neat as it was when you first got it it's already tangling and you are going to get some shedding this um, unit is very 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 fluffy um, especially at the top so what I would recommend doing is getting a stocking cap spraying some water on top of the stocking cap then taking a scarf place that scarf over the stocking cap spritz that scarf again and then take your blow dryer and start to apply heat to help but to help maintain the puffiness of the top of the wig i honestly wish they would have um placed majority of the locks towards the back and not made the front so full because that's what's happening of course you know you can remove some locks if you choose to do so that's your business um now the purpose of this review obviously is to help you with your purchase decision and um you know if i don't like something that doesn't mean you may not like it so i'm just giving you my honest opinion of what i think about the unit so you know don't just be like, oh, uh-uh, I seen another review and she dropped it. Eh, eh, eh. This is my review. <laughs> Let's get this straight now. Um, I'm just telling you what how I feel about the unit in my opinion. So, <laughs> um, it's cute for a look. It really is. I like the concept. I do love that the, you know, they gave us an option for the butterfly lock look without having to, you know, adhere to the commitment of having the butterfly locks um, as far as the hairline goes the hairline is really really nice you can definitely utilize your own edges if you would like to or you can utilize the baby hairs that they left on the wig you can definitely do so that is your business um i would recommend that you keep the baby hairs on to you know help blend it into your hairline i was trying to blend it in with the makeup and it just wasn't working i probably should have did what i normally do is put my foundation underneath versus on top because that's what i usually do i put my um, foundation underneath but this time i put it on top and it just didn't work so um i like the length i like that you get different lengths for your you know is in regards to your lock so that way you get like you know a dimensional you know somewhat face framing um bob look so it's not all so flat um it comes in very different colors so you can definitely you know get different colors for this like i said what's going to end up happening is your locks are going to become more and more distressed and you are going to get mad because do y'all see those loose hairs over time that's going to mat up on you and you ain't gonna be able to move not one lock whatsoever um so just keep that in mind um i was trying to decorate her just to see if i would like her more and no i don't i i damn usually zori is pretty good but i think they just you know just need some tweaking for this one but the execution i understand it completely overall let me stop rambling comment down below let me know what you honestly think about this unit on me i want honest opinions don't be like oh it looks so pretty no, I, I honestly want you guys to comment what you're thinking <laughs> I, I need for you guys to because the lord jesus um all right let me stop rambling on i'm gonna go ahead and go dolls thank you thank you thank you so much for watching please share this video um sharing is caring is free to do so and i will talk to y'all later